Hey Keto Bugs, it's dinner time. And I got a glorious new recipe to try out tonight. It's a garlic butter steak bites with lemon um, zucchini noodles. I'm super excited for this meal. I've been looking for something different for steak and I came across this recipe and thought I'd try it tonight and show you guys how easy it is to do something you never tried before. Um, prep time took me like maybe 10 minutes. Um, your marinade needs to marinate for 15 to 20 minutes. This is just sirloin steak cut into cubes. It has a tablespoon or a half tablespoon of minced garlic, um, a fourth cup of soy sauce, or I like to use amino acids, um, a tablespoon of oil, and a tablespoon of sriracha, and some black pepper. And then all mixed up, and then I just kind of let it sit for seven, eight minutes on one side, and then I flip it over. In the pan over here, we're going to have um, avocado oil, just enough to coat the pan. I have it on super high heat, and we're gonna drain the steak from the marinade, but we're gonna keep the marinade because it's gonna be a part of the sauce for later. But we want to fry the steak, so we don't wanna boil it. If we put the marinade in the pan with the steak, we'll end up boiling it, and we don't wanna do that. You also don't wanna to put too much, if your pan's smaller, you don't wanna put too much steak because then all the steam will steam your steak. So you gotta be careful. So I'm probably gonna do half of the steak first. Nice hot, see how it's steamy? Nice hot pan. Really draining out that meat. Yeah, I'm gonna do about half. You see all the steam? You want to be careful. If you want to fry that meat, it only takes a couple minutes when you're on high heat to really get that meat coated. I'm going to have you come closer. So with the oil that I added to the pan and what's left on the meat, it's enough to fry it together. Right here, I have five mushrooms. I'm gonna add that to the meat. Now this recipe didn't call for mushrooms. I just really like mushrooms, especially when it comes to steak. So I added the mushrooms. I made them really big so they can be picked out because my partner is not into mushrooms. But I want that flavor in there. All right, you want, you don't want to mix it too much because you want the meat to get a little crispy on the outside. Right here, I have one zucchini because I'm the only one who's going to be eating it. It'd be one zucchini per person normally. So if you're serving a family of four, it'd be four zucchinis. And they're pretty small zucchinis. They're about that big and about that wide. So it's not a very big one. And then um, when we're done cooking the meat, our broth is going to be one fourth of a cup beef broth, a half tablespoon of, um, what are those called? Red, red pepper flakes a half a lemon juiced one tablespoon of fresh parsley a half table or a teaspoon of supposed to be fresh thyme i didn't have fresh but i did have um, dehydrated thyme so once it mixes with the water it'll be fine and what else i think that's it yep that's it oh and then we'll add the the this back in there with the other stuff, which you'll see here in a minute. All right, let's give it a stir. Takes about two or three minutes for that meat. There's a lot of steam. So if I had all of that meat in there, it'd just be all steam and it'd be steaming that meat. 
All right, so I'm gonna actually just take out the meat itself. I don't wanna overcook it, but I do wanna overcook my mushrooms. I like them really well done. So we're gonna add it, the rest of the meat, and continue cooking those mushrooms. There was once upon a time I didn't like mushrooms either. And then I don't know what happened. <laughs> I had uh, sauteed mushrooms with garlic and butter one day with a steak and it was like a game changer for me. Because they were really well done mushrooms and just done up really, really nicely. And ever since I've been trying mushrooms different ways once my palate got really used to it and now I I like them a lot, but they still have to be really well done for me. I don't like them raw still. I don't even like them like a little cooked. They have to be well done. You really can train your palate slowly to like things, and there's just some things you can never like. But I've grown to really like a whole lot of things as I've gotten older that I never liked as a kid, never thought I would like, like Brussels sprouts. Oh my God, I love me some Brussels sprouts and thank goodness they're on the menu of vegetables because we we probably have roasted Brussels at least at least once every other week and I've even been trying cooking them different ways than my staple all always well done always roasted in the oven or, or fried on the stove <coughs> so here's the first batch Let's see. so it's well cooked all the way through. Little tiny pink in there. Doesn't have to be super well done. Oh, it's got really good flavor. Oh my. We have steak, so even though we're keto, and even though it's going keto, um, our bowel issues have gotten a lot better. IBS, bloating, you name it. Every so often, you know, we'll still have a little issue but not like before. Um, and we eat fresh, um, non-hormonal, uh, grass-fed beef and, you know, all the things. But we still only have red meat maybe once a week, once every other week. For us, it's not a staple of our diet. We eat a lot of pork and a lot of um, chicken, mostly chicken. But uh, we really like Italian sausage, so there's where the pork comes in, and of course it's bacon, duh. But even, you know, everybody thinks we eat like bacon with every meal. We really don't eat as much bacon as I thought we would. I like it as a little toss-in for some flavor, but it's, it's not like I'm eating strips of bacon all the time. Now you can see those mushrooms are pretty well done now. And it looks like about the same amount of meat as there is here. I'm gonna put my meat aside in a separate dish because I love my partner enough where I don't want her to have to siphon through some meat <laughs> to, get at, to get away from the mushrooms. My meat right there. Oh yeah, but this ain't gonna be just one dish. For us, this will be two meals. A lot of the stuff I make ends up being more than one meal. All right, so now I'm gonna turn my fire down to about medium. I'm gonna add my broth or my marinade that was left over. I'm gonna add my pepper flakes, my beef broth, my lemon juice, and then the fresh herbs, we're gonna add the last five minutes. We don't wanna really cook them up well done. We wanna reduce, actually I might turn it back up a little bit. We wanna reduce the sauce down a little bit so actually keeping the fire a little bit on the higher side is good. 
So for about two minutes, we'll reduce that. In the meantime, she's eating broccoli because um, she's she'll eat she'll eat the zucchini, but it's not her favorite. And you know, it doesn't take but two extra minutes to separate it and, and you know give her what she likes. Taylor is awake and says, I'm sad I'm missing this. Yes, you should be sad. So, story behind this, Taylor on here is my daughter, my youngest daughter. I invited her over for this amazing steak dinner. And at 7.30, she messages us and says she's going to bail because she's tired and needs to fall asleep. This girl's 27 years old and she's already tired at 7.30. So I was like, okay, well, if you want to miss out, I'm going to put just a tiny bit of water. That way the broccoli can steam a little bit while it cooks. This is a confection microwave oven, so it really steams and cooks at the same time, which is really nice. Uh, three minutes should be enough time for the broccoli. If you look at our sauce. See how it's thickening up? It's cooking down a bit. No way, Taylor. She said save me leftovers. Ah, uh, no. There's no saving you leftovers. You should have been here tonight. Leftovers are going to be my lunch now. <laughs> I'm a mean mama. I wanted your pretty face. I wanted your company, not just to give you my food. Is there anybody else on with us? Miss Laura. Well, hi, Laura. You're allowed to say hello when you guys hop on. I would she love. Waved. Oh, she did. Okay. Well, thank you for waving. Do you like steak, Laura? I think you might want to try this dish. Because let me tell you, it smells really good, and I'm pretty sure it's going to taste really good. And uh, another thing, the recipe didn't call for, but I'm going to add because I love me some Parmesan cheese. I'm going to garnish my dish with a little parm and a squeeze of lemon juice because that's how I roll. So zucchini's cooking. Taylor says, I ate before you invited me, lol, and I'm tired, meanie. <laughs> I love you anyway. Alright, so we just need to get some parm. You Laura guys? said, of course, steak is bomb. <laughs> right? Is it bomb.com, though? Oh, it's bomb.com. I haven't even tried it, but I know by the spices and the marinade from just using those ingredients before that this is going to be rocking. All right, so zucchini's about halfway cooked. You don't want it to get mushy, but you definitely... Don't want it too al dente. I mean, at least I don't. <laughs> Taylor says, LOL, okay, good. Love you too. What are you making tomorrow? <laughs> what are we making tomorrow? I don't remember. <laughs> and Laura says, Mom, <laughs> Wait, is this Laura? You're Laura? My friend Laura, yeah. Yeah. What's up, girl? And when am I going to actually meet you in person? I'm starting to think, I'm starting to think that we're only going to be virtual friends. And I don't, I think this needs to change. We need to make a date. Matter of fact, I'm publicly we calling you out. Called out. Saying I want to meet you in person. We tried to take you to a bomb ass movie. By the way, you missed it. I don't know if you saw it, but it was amazing. And you watch all my cooking. How about trying my food in person? Matter of fact, I'll even let you pick what I make for dinner. Bring our little mutual friend too, because I love her. Um, you've seen me cook a lot of stuff. Obviously it has to be keto. And um, I'll make you dinner. We'll have some drinks. You can tell me some crazy stories about cat and work. Or not, let's <laughs> not do that. All right, wait, come closer. So you guys, see how the noodles are and the sauce is reducing. This is how you know it's just about done. And this is where you put the meat in to warm it up. This meat? The, 
Well, I'm putting your meat in. I'm going to warm it up and then take it back out real quick. Taylor says, Caleb, you're going to bed. All right. Night, baby girl. Night, sleepyhead. Uh, Laura also said, I tried to do drinks. Yeah, but didn't actually plan anything. Well, calling you out, girl. Calling you out. Let's do it. Let's make a date right now. Is she picking a date? I don't know. All right. Oh, you know what I forgot to add? You guys, I forgot to add the butter. It's supposed to have a tablespoon of butter and garlic. Oh my God. Fail. Total fill. And you know that's, those two elements are important, especially huh. when it comes to steak. I'm the killer. Not you. I'm gonna murder this Laura girl. <laughs> Is she like not even trying to come up with a date? She said, now I'm working weekends. Thanks, Katie. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. Oh, ouch. She said the C or the K-A-T-I. I don't even know how to spell it. See, it's not a real word. All right, added the butter, added the garlic. She's got some sauce on her steak. Obviously, she's not gonna eat all that in one setting. We gotta add some butter to her broccoli. This is the best part about keto, you guys. You can add all of the butter, and it's all right. I'm gonna add a little bit of Mrs. Dash, so it gives a little flavor. I need a fork, yours and mine. Fork level. Adding my meat and so she got the butter on hers. I need to put butter on mine now. Adding the butter. I shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Adding the garlic. Oh my gosh. This might even not be enough zucchini noodles for all this meat. All right, so. That's not a thing. Huh? That's not a thing. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna save like half the meat and then buy another zucchini. There we go. There's my dish. You guys, this didn't take what, but five, ten minutes to make this meal. And it's gonna have all of the flavors. Just don't forget to add the butter and garlic when you're cooking the steak. That's the only thing I forgot to do. Oh yeah. There's hers. Doesn't this look amazing? Look at this. Look at that. All right, needs a little parm. I know. Okay. Just a little bit, just enough to give it that zing. And we got almost the same exact dinner, just a little bit different. Everybody's happy. Let me taste it for you guys. Let me taste it. Laura, I'm waiting for that date. Oh no, that invitation has been retracted. Oh, it's been retracted? Oh, because of the Katie thing. Mmm. 
Wow. You can really taste the lemon in that. Wow. That's a very nice spicy kick, but you really taste the lemon and the thyme. And the Parmesan actually just gives it that extra little something. I'm glad I added that. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. And of course, remember, if you try the dish, post the picture, tag me so I get it. Let me know what you think. Cheers.